to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is a 4th of July easy quick dessert for you. Super excited because there's two desserts. I've never made them before. Definitely I just looked on Pinterest to find two ideas of something that I would like or my kids would like and it's a special video because it is a collab video with some of my besties here on YouTube. Thank you Rachel for putting it together. There will be a playlist link below, so make sure to check out their videos because they're going to have amazing 4th of July ideas as well. Um, this year's theme was <laughs> to keep it quick. I am teaching summer school and the days are busy. And so I am going with two desserts. One of them is going to be this like sugar cookie cup that you fill with some Cool Whip and lemon Oreo thin cookies. And then you top it with fresh fruit. And then the other one's gonna be like the classic, an ice cream sandwich. So I got my favorite Nestle Toll House chocolate chip cookies. And then we're gonna fill it with some ice cream. And of course, some 4th of July sprinkles. I am gonna turn this into a charcuterie board. I think that that's like the best thing for 4th of July so people can kind of graze. So I may add in some other fresh fruit and some candies if you guys didn't see my grocery haul for summer I posted that yesterday and I got a ton of food and stuff to snack on so this is going to be great to snack on and work on the yard because I have a lot of yard work to do today okay let's go ahead and get started okay I started off by just washing all of my fruit I think it's the easiest to just throw it into the sink rinse it all off wash them and then I like to separate them into bowls which I ended up using on the charcuterie board later so that really worked for me um, but just pick your favorite fruit to top it with and honestly um, I just went with the 4th of July theme red and blue for this uh, white was the whipped cream so I thought that was perfect but you could definitely change it up or mix the berries all together and you could do that too um, but this is super simple, quick, and definitely perfect for summer. Um, it was such a fresh dessert, so definitely recommend this. Um, and my girls absolutely love fresh berries, so the leftovers were not wasted. We <laughs> definitely ate them for lunch. Okay, for this I tried to use a cookie scoop to make them all even sizes, but it was still pretty soft from just being in the fridge and kind of messy, so I just washed my hands before this, so I was able to touch them, and it was just for my family, um, but I didn't realize that I had only made nine at first, and I wanted an even amount, so I ended up scooting them over because I did want to have an even amount. If you're making ice cream sandwiches, you'll want to consider that so that you can have a top and a bottom to your ice cream sandwich. So I just scooted them over here, and I tried to even out the sizes, but honestly, it doesn't really matter because you'll see one of the tricks that I use later on in this video on how I get them to be perfect circles. So it's just trying to get them to be even sizes so that um, you're not wasting too much of the cookie or you'll have to eat all the ends at the, when you're done um, cutting them because you'll see I use a biscuit cutter to make them all perfectly round. So it does not have to be perfect here. Um, just do the best you can. And then for the little cups, I took the sugar cookie and I pushed it in. If I do this again, which I think I will because they turned out so good, I think I would line it with somehow like parchment paper or I need to fully let it cool. I was not patient. And so they didn't turn out perfect because when I went to scoop them out, some of the cookies were falling apart. Um, but you could definitely use a liner here and I think it'd be perfect and a little bit easier to take them out. But I just pushed them in and filled eight cups for this one and that was um, the perfect amount for my little board. But if you had a larger one, these are super quick and simple. So you can make a lot of these at once. I popped them in the oven. Um, both of them needed to be at 350, so that was perfect. I put them in together 
and during that time I scooped my ice cream and I put it back in the freezer and I flattened them out so that they were ready to go for the ice cream sandwiches. This is something that helps save you time. You don't have to do this step. I just wanted them to be um, ready once the cookies were cooled and this is the same scooper I used so I knew it'd be the perfect size for the ice cream sandwich. Next, I took some Oreos. I think I used about eight and I crushed them up. And this is what gives the whip topping, I guess, a lemon taste. And it is absolutely just delicious. I love Oreos and I think they're better <laughs> in every recipe. I put um, Oreos in my Rice Krispies. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it. Um, but you just have whip topping and it's really however much you think you want to fill the cups. You really don't need too much because the cups are super small. And then you just add the lemon Oreo cookies to it and mix it up and it's that easy. As you can see, the cookies were not all perfect shapes, so I took my biscuit cutter that I got from Target's um, line, the, oh, I can't think of her, like the Joanna Gans um, cookbook that she sells. This is, she. it comes with three cookie cutters at Target, and I bought these, and honestly, I have used them so often for everything but biscuits. We just don't make them often but they're perfect for this recipe. And honestly, I was snacking on all the cookie ends. Um, they're like harder. But look how perfect these cookies turn out. I think that I'll definitely use this cheat for even just to make regular cookies for a crowd. I think they're like the perfect circle and they take out all the hard crunchy ends. So this was really cute. And then here it is, the cups were not perfect by any means. I thought this was gonna be a total Pinterest fail, but you put up, pop them back in the fridge after and they were perfect so I put whipped topping on all of them here and then I just um, added a raspberry or two blueberries to each one and they honestly turned out so cute it doesn't have to be perfect to taste great and these honestly were probably my favorite so I definitely recommend these they're super fresh and I think they did turn out pretty cute even though they don't look perfect
Okay, these ice cream sandwiches honestly are the cutest thing and they melt quickly. So if you're going to make these, make them and then pop them back in the freezer and have them ready to go um, for when you want to serve them. But they are such a cute um, extra. You could also, if you are worried about them melting and it's hot days, you can fill the middle with um, icing and then you could have them like that as well. So I just think they were so cute and super, super easy. Um, and it's something you could even do like an ice cream bar. Like I said, um, this is just such a versatile dessert and you can change the type of cookie or change the type of ice cream, but they turned out really cute. I ended up putting everything on the board and I love the way it turned out. Really, you can do anything. I added some Oreos, the um, popping kind is what my kids call them. Um, they're not really too big of fans of them, but they are cute and festive. And then I added peanut M&Ms and the fresh fruit leftover. I just mixed it together. And honestly, this turned out so cute and I'll definitely be doing something again for 4th of July just like this. I hope this gave you an idea and comment down below if you love making these boards as well. I am thinking my 31st birthday will be a charcuterie board party and I'm super excited. I'm hoping to maybe film some of that and get that to you guys. Comment below if you guys make these as well. Okay, I absolutely love the way it turned out. How cute, super festive for 4th of July. Didn't take long. If I were doing this on the actual 4th of July day, I would prep ahead your cookies or your ice cream sandwiches or do it even as an ice cream bar. That would be super cute. But a lot of this you could just throw in the freezer and freezer bags and it'll be perfect and ready to go. That's what's fun about charcuterie boards and it looks so cute and festive. Thank you so much to Rachel for putting this together. Don't forget to check out the playlist below. If you didn't already, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. <gasps> oh my goodness. What? Do you want to try one? Yes. I love this. You love it? Look, look that. Do you want to try it? One bite. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>